This is the latest Woj bomb. It would appear as if Lob City has been fully deflated now it's after over. DeAndre Jordan declined his player option. You say it's over with the Clippers, so what's next for him? Well, they tried to do a sign and trade between the Clippers, Mavs, couldn't come to an agreement. So he opts out, and he's very clearly headed to Dallas after July 1. They, they technically cannot negotiate or talk about a deal, but Dallas has created the cap space. They need a center. DeAndre Jordan needed a team uh, with the space to sign him to a big-time long-term deal, and so he'll very likely head to the Mavericks. Paul George has committed to the Thunder. Uh, he will be back next year. They're discussing now terms of a contract. It'll certainly be a max deal. But whether it's one, two, three years, that's a conversation they're having now. But Paul George wanted to commit there. Uh, he went in with ownership management tonight. You know, really had a lot of his questions answered here in recent days. Their willingness to spend, go deep into the luxury tax. Really a triumph for that Oklahoma City organization that was really wounded uh, with the departure of Kevin Durant. They took a big risk a year ago tonight, trading Victor Oladipo, Sabonis, two good young players. Mm. For a player who had made it very clear to them and everybody else, he was going to sign with the Lakers a year from now. And a year later, the Lakers don't even get a meeting with a kid who grew up in Southern California mm -hmm. who dreamed of playing for them. They never got to sit down in front of him. Paul George is staying in Oklahoma City. Denver, they missed a playoff spot by a, a game in the West, and they've got a star out there, and they're going to pay him like one. Yeah, Nikola Jokic, uh, five-year, $148 million max deal. Uh, no no opt-outs, so that's a straight five-year deal, and that's a player they're going to build around in Denver. That's that's their guy now. Chris Paul, four years, $160 million max deal to stay in Houston. You know, he could have done that five-year deal there. Um, he'd been 37, 38 years old, making $48 million at the end. Mm -hmm. You know, the four-year deal gives them, gives him security. It gives the team a little bit on the back end, some protection, but he never wanted to go anywhere else. You know, when they when he opted in last year in LA, worked that trade to Houston, he imagined that he had a chance to play for a championship contender, and he found out he did. They were up 3-2 on Golden State. Sure. In the we heard playoff. Himself, yeah. Right, and so he knows that team's really close. Four-year, $154 million, a max deal. That's, that's what he can sign in LA. This is a seismic move mm -hmm. for LeBron James, for the Lakers. For the NBA to have the athlete of this generation and, and, and maybe ever mm -hmm. in this sport to go to the franchise in L.A. And he, people in Boston will argue that, but, but there's something about L.A. and the West Coast and what show, the Showtime Lakers and Hollywood mm -hmm. for LeBron James. This is such a bigger play than just trying to win a championship with the Lakers. This is planting his flag in Hollywood, the entertainment industry, and having Magic Johnson, not just running basketball operations in L.A., but him as a mentor, as a guide um, for all the things LeBron James wants to do in business for the rest of his career and then beyond his basketball career in every way it makes sense. Magic Johnson, um, you know, from the beginning, we're going big game hunting, oh, yeah. and, and they've landed the biggest of all. Now the work for Magic Johnson, Rob Palenka, to start building a contender around him. They don't have enough to compete with Golden State or even Houston right now, maybe not even Oklahoma City. Listen, this is a message to Lonzo Ball. I mean, he, you know, his injury, um, that knee injury, I think there was a belief around the Lakers is that, that it was within his world that that got leaked out there to keep him from getting traded. He doesn't want to be traded, be traded from L.A. Right. You know, it wasn't the Lakers who wanted information out on that knee injury. Uh, there were a lot of teams who were checking on possible deals with the Lakers. They wanted to know, there were a lot of questions about that knee. Uh, and they want winning veteran players there. This is not, this is what you have LeBron James now, and he's 33 years old. And especially Rondo on a one-year deal, um, they want win now, win, you know, win now guys. And Rondo is going to challenge Lonzo Ball. Randall is a player who did not want to do a one-year deal with them, and so by renouncing his rights, it gets him off the cap. And it's really a goodwill gesture to let him go out in free agency. With DeMarcus Cousins, yes, the injury played a big part in depressing the market for him. Uh, the fact that there wasn't salary cap space in a lot of places. But here's a reality DeMarcus Cousins had to deal with and now has to start to rectify in Golden State. His image. There were teams with space who did not want him in their locker room, didn't want him in their organization. And he knows that. And he's got to. He made str great strides in New Orleans 
as to turn into a winning player. He got along great with people there. But he has more work to do. He's going to get that chance in Golden State because it was explained to him, the Marcus, there's going to be nights when you, you are back playing where you're going to get five or six shots and you can't complain about it. You're not going, this thing's not going to be built around you. You've got to fit into it. And I think this gives him a chance to prove those things to people. Five years, $158 million. He's eligible for his rookie extension. It's a no-brainer. This is for the Suns who've really struggled. This is by far their best player. He's the guy they're going to build a franchise around. And with that kind of a player, you come in right at the beginning, you give him the whole max, you say, here you go, and uh, he signs it, and they try to build. Devin Booker's only 21 years old. Oklahoma City will work with Carmelo Anthony and, and his agent over the course of this summer to try to figure out how they will um, exit this one-year relationship. The Thunder are trying now to work on trade scenarios. It's going to be dif difficult. Probably the most likely scenario is the NBA stretch provision, which would allow them to get him off the cap this year, spread the money over three years um, on their cap, but that would save the Thunder in salary and luxury tax $107 million. Right now their payroll is over $300 million, and that's as much of this as the impetus of it is that kind of savings and the role for Carmelo Anthony has changed from what he had signed up for there. Um, he would have been de-emphasized this year. They want to play faster. It makes sense for both sides. I think it had run its course there for him and two years, $10 million in Charlotte, a chance to play a significant role behind Kemba Walker and, and a head coach, James Borrego, who was an assistant in San Antonio right. for some time with him. Um, all led him to, to leave after an amazing run with the Spurs. Tremendous opportunity for Dwight to go to a playoff team and show right now again that not only can he be effective, but that he can fit into an environment, that he can be a positive force in a locker room with a team. There's a big hole in the middle in, in Washington. They need a center. Rose, why the Nuggets for him? A relationship with Mike Malone, the Denver coach. Uh, Isaiah played for him in Sacramento, had a great season with him. Uh, Tim Connolly, their president of basketball operations, and Malone met with Isaiah, talked to him about a role coming off the bench. They need scoring off their bench. This is a team that has expectations of getting in the playoffs this season. Uh, they love Isaiah Thomas. They needed a backup point guard, and there were none on the market that had the potential uh, of Thomas. The deal is final. The Spurs will send Kawhi Leonard to Danny Green to the Raptors. For DeMar DeRozan, Jakob Hurdle, and a 2019 first round pick. There's no question this deal comes with great risk for Toronto. In the end, they didn't think they were good enough with the team they had to beat Boston, maybe even beat Philly. And they're rolling the dice. They've got a year now to try to convince him to stay in Toronto the way Oklahoma City did with Paul George. If they lose Leonard in free agency, if he goes to the Lakers as he plans to right now, then they'll, they'll very likely start their rebuild uh, with a healthy Kawhi Leonard. You know, that's a team that can compete with anybody in the East. Well, he's sort of let it be known. He does not want to play for the Toronto Raptors. What recourse does he have, if any, about playing next season with the Raptors? Well, <laughs> he makes $20 million this season, and if he wants to get paid it, he's got to play for the Toronto Raptors, and it'll be that simple.